Just 26 overs were possible on the penultimate day of the LV County Championship match between Lancashire and Warwickshire at the Emirates Old Trafford as this hard-fought contest now appears to be heading towards a draw. Play didn't get underway until shortly before 5 o'clock and it took Lancashire just three and a half overs to finish off the Warwickshire first innings with James Anderson finally getting in the wicket column by ripping out Oliver Hannan-Dolby's middle stump. Starting the day on 316 for 9, the visitors were all out for 324 for a first innings lead of 77. There was still time left in this shortened day for their attack to now take some early Lancashire wickets to put pressure on the home side going into the last day. But Paul Horton and Lewis Rees were equal to just about everything that was thrown at them. Boundaries, though, were difficult to come by because of the wet outfield. The visiting attack tried everything they could to get the breakthrough. Keith Barker was able on occasions to find prodigious movement. While Chris Wright put his back into his bowling so much that he managed to get one to bounce over the wicketkeeper's head. There was certainly something on offer for the seamer and on other days Chris Wokes may have been a little more fortunate to find the edge rather than to get the ball to move sharply past the bat. The batsmen had to concentrate hard to keep their wickets intact. There was spin too when Jitan Patel was introduced into the attack. A couple of times he gave the ball plenty of air and watched it turn sharply past the outside edge of Reese's bat. It seemed only a matter of time before Warwickshire would get the wicket they so badly needed. They didn't know on this particular day as both Reese and Horton saw out the 22 overs that they were left with as they reduced the arrears to just 31 runs by reaching 46 without loss by the close. Horton and Reese will go again on the last morning with 27 and 9 runs to their names respectively.